And I am live. Well, hello, Michael. Who else do we have here? Hi, Barb. Hi, Rachel. Hi, Andrea. Uh, listen, I, I, hi, everybody. Because like I said, people have commented, oh, I'm turning turning this off because you're saying a hi to a bunch of people. But hi, Michelle. I'll say hi to one more. Yay, you made it. You made it, Nicole. Okay, so well, I'll go ahead and get all of the the beginning stuff out of the way. If you are join, just joining and this is your first time, or if you're watching later on, hello, I'm Misty. I own a brick and mortar antique store. I'm a full-time reseller on eBay, and I have these sales on my YouTube channel every Wednesday at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I'm working on the details. I probably here before too long will be having a, a sale during the week, not on the weekend. I'm thinking like maybe um, Tuesday, maybe Monday. I don't know. We're trying to figure this out. I'm trying to do it when somebody else is having a sale, which is getting a little, a little bit more difficult. But I'm wanting to have an evening sale, just like I'm not going to do it every week, just like once, maybe every so often. Um, so because I have some people that said, I want to see your sales. I want to participate in your sales, but I work during the day and I can't. So I'm thinking about, I don't, and I don't know when, and I will let everybody know when that's going to be, but that might be coming up very soon. So I have Emma here and she, Hi. she's, you know, laying down the hammer. She's going to be, um, monitoring the chat and letting people know who, you know, wins an item. Also, um, this is the way that this works. Um, I'm going to hold up an item and every item has a number and it's the first person who uh, claims it by typing in the number in the chat will win it. And it is how it ends up showing up, hi Alex, on our end or on Emma's end actually. So no fighting, no bickering, no saying it's not fair. We, we don't have anybody's, we can't control everybody's internet speed. So the only way that we can do it is how it shows up on our end. And Emma is, she'll, she'll tell you in the chat, if you're, you're arguing, she'll tell you not to argue. Okay. Hi, Thrift Kitten. All right. So I have a lot of things here. So let's go ahead and get started. All right. Say this, hi to your mom. oh, my mom's there. Hi, mom. There you go. Okay, I said hi to mom. All right. Hi, Holly. Hi, Maria. Okay, let's get started because I get distracted. The first thing is this really pretty, it's like a biscuit tin, but this one was made in Holland. Well, let me show you. It's pretty with a bird on it. I like the colors. It's the really pretty teal and um, cream colored and rose colored with the gold accents. I love these, this collar combination is very Victorian and I'm not a, you know, Victorian kind of gal, but I do like the colors on this. It's gold on the inside, very pretty lightweight. And it, this one was made in Holland. It's a Dasher 10 or Dayer 10. Oh, trusty Huckster, you know a lot. I don't know. I don't know that. But anyway, it's very pretty and it is eight dollars and it's number nine eight dollars for number nine the made in holland tin it's tin okay i have oh my vintage oh my vintage yeah it's very very pretty this is one of the things i considered keeping but you know i can't keep everything too unfortunately okay I, again, I've said before that I have a lot of milk bottles. So, well, I'm just going to show, no, I'm going to show two today. Mom keeps saying that it's not clear. Is it clear? Mm -hmm. It's not really clear? No, try data. All right. Let me turn data off. Is this better? It's buffering for Emma. We have we to have. talk about it, though, just keep. Refresh. Well, I can't. You're keeping track. This is how you can talk about oh, it. I'm going to talk about the thing. This is a milk bottle. It's embossed and it is embossed. Everyone says buffering. 
Now everyone says buffering. Okay, well, then I guess Wi-Fi is Okay, let me go back to Wi-Fi. We got these. We got these uh, new finagled uh, internet ex extenders. And, okay. Well, Connie, you didn't miss anything because I'm having, you know, buffering issues. Oh, my vintage got the 10. Oh, my vintage got number nine. The 10, which was the 10. Okay. Sorry, mom. It's buffering. It's it's not clear for my mom, but she's not buying anything. So it doesn't need to be clear for her. Okay. Let me go on. East End Dairies Incorporated. And you can see it is embossed. Sherry Crater says it's not clear for her. I don't know. And it says it is, well, it's a one pint and it is a, the ownership of this bottle reserved. And it has Easton Dairy embossment there. Yeah, everyone refresh your page and make sure that you are in the live chat. It'll say top chat and live chat. Make sure that you're in live chat. Because it's saying half of you it's clear and half for half of people it's fuzzy. And I've tried both. The internet on and the internet off. Okay. So anyway, this is the East End Dairies bottle. It's $12 and it's number 13. This one doesn't have the graphic on it. It does, it is embossed. There's no chips on it anywhere. And this is a number 13 is $12. Uh, oh, yeah, go to the bottom of the setting wheel, put it to the highest resolution, which is at 720. That's one thing that you can do, too. Okay. I don't ever know about the milk bottles. I know that they used to be all the rage, and they're not as much anymore. Okay, the next item, these are so cute. And actually, I just did an antique mall haul video. So these things that I'm offering you to you today, you're going to see in that haul video. Not everything. I did save some things for the next sale, but... These cute little bird salt and pepper shakers. Let me get to where you can see them. They both have the, the holes in their, their chest. They don't have, well, one of them has a stopper. They're made in Japan. One of them has the stopper. One of them doesn't. It, the tops of their heads are like a little pale pink color. They're very, very cute. They don't have any chips or cracks. Some of the paint on the beak, you can see right there, has a little bit of rubbing there. These cute little birds would look good on a tiered tray. So you could put one on a tiered tray. You could put one on a shelf. So you could do, you could separate them if you wanted to. These are $6 and they're number 44. Number 44, the cute little made in Japan birds are $6 for number 44. I have Newton's cupboard. Michelle Newton's cupboard number 44 okay and we we do go back and look at the chat just to make sure so just 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 so you know we do go back and double check all right these next little guys i rescued from the bins the last time that i went to the goodwill outlet was on valentine's day because that's what my husband and i do on Valentine's. I just, I, I couldn't leave them. So these are little dogs. Now they are the dogs on the chain. The mama dog is, is not with them. They have, they do have some issues. This one, he's got a little chipped paw and he has a, some little issues, but they're so cute and I couldn't just leave them there. But I don't really do dogs, but I know that other people do dogs. I don't do dogs. So these cute little dogs, you get both of them. They are $4 and they're number 12. So number 12, the little dogs are $4 for number 12. I have Angela Curry because Superior Girl was tied. Oh, okay. Angela Curry. For the dogs. I know. They're just so cute. But I'm not a dog. If they were cats, I probably would have kept them. <laughs> Is Wiener Mama here? I don't have any Wiener dogs today. 
All right, so this little cup, I saw that Jeffrey, Real Nifty Vintage, had shown one of these in his sale, and I thought, well, I've got one of those, too. I'm going to I'm gonna do that. I'm going to sell mine, too, hopefully. And it's this little amber the, um, candy scoop. This one is Federal Glass. Oh, hi. Is that Nicole? My 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 sister-in-law is watching with my nephew there. Hi, Connor. Hi, Connor. It's my nephew's watching. Okay, so this is a little candy scoop. And it's federal glass, as I just showed you, like an amber color. And so, you know, these would be in the little scoops, and you could scoop candy into them. You could use it as a toothpick holder. Hi, D. And this is six dollars, and it's number fifty-eight. Fifty-eight is six dollars for the little candy scoop, federal glass candy scoop. I have vintage and vinyl. Vintage and vinyl wins number fifty-eight. All right, these are also in a little rough condition. You always thought that they were shot glasses. I mean, it would be a little shot. They're not very big. So, I mean, you, you'd need, I mean, I want a little bit more in my shot glass. But they'd be, you could put toothpicks in them if you didn't want to use them. I mean, who uses the candy scoop anymore? They don't use one that small, if anything. Hi, Fat Bird Finds. So these are also in some, have some condition issues, but a lot of people like squirrels. So these are squirrels and they're made out of like a composite material. They're not ceramic. They've got, you know, some, some issues. It's got a little chip right there. And, but you know, they're cute little squirrels like this. The, one of them has like their eyes are missing on each one. So they, you put them together. They can, they can see as one. These are $3 and they are number 30. Number 30, and they don't have their stoppers in the bottom. But they're that kind of, it's not wood, but it's not ceramic. It's that composite material. Newton's, Newton's cupboard. Michelle, you're getting the squirrels. All right. Next, we have an apron. I have two aprons I'm going, yeah, two aprons vintage aprons that I'm going to show today. I have quite a bit more that I just recently have purchased. So, um, I mean, but so they're going to be spread out, but I have two that's going to be offered today. Here is the first one, the colors on it. It's got green and brown and yellow. It also, it may be res. It's not really resin, but it's anyway, it's, it's sold so I can move on. But this is has the rickrack trim and a little pocket. Does the pocket have it? Yeah, the pocket has the rickrack trim on the top. It's just not, it's not ironed. Um, has a generous, a generous tie, which I appreciate. Uh, and it is $8 and it is number 24 for the little cotton vintage apron. Really kind of Really pretty browns and yellows and greens. I have Nesting Haven. Nesting Haven. Nicole, you got it. It's very cute. And the, all the linens have been washed but not treated. And I don't have any see-through linens today. That was last week or the week before. Okay. I like things like this. And this is a little cookbook. It's Aunt Jenny's cookbook. And it is 12 pies husbands like best because that's all that matters, right? That the husbands like the pie. Who cares about the kids, what the kids or the like? Wife. Or the wife. Who cares if you don't like the pie? Only your husband can like this pie. Um, and this is a recipe book or like a recipe pamphlet, I guess you could say. It's made by Aunt Jenny. See, Aunt Jenny, she wrote a little note in here. Now anyone can make pies to perfection with Spry's water whip method. So it's got a lot of different um, pie recipes in here. What is the copyright on here? 1952. Because 1952, they we only cared about what the husbands liked, right? 
like June Cleaver. Some of these pies, are they all in black and white? It's all black and white, except for the cover. This is um, $5, and it is number 53. So you can make a pie for your husband only <laughs> out of this book. I and L. Brinkley. L. Brinkley. L, you'll have to let me know if you make a pie for only husbands. It even shows you how to do the crusts. And I like books like this. I like especially finding the ones like how to be a good housewife. You know what I mean? Because, you know, that's everyone's goal. All right, I'm going to show you a primitive piece. Uh, this is a piece that I I like this kind of stuff. I know primitives aren't for everybody. I, I like primitives. I like to intermingle primitives in with like my kitchen decor and, you know, all that kind of things. I just... I like primitives. And this is, Emma, what did I used to call these? Do you remember? Mm -mm. So this is a mallet, but I always call them pounders. And in fact, in the shop, when we first opened, I had labeled them all as pounders. So um, this is not a, well, I guess you could call it, they're always going to be pounders to me, but this is a mallet. So they would use these back in, the day when they would build barns. It's a carpentry um, mallet. You could, well, if your husband didn't like your pie, if they argue in the comments. You can hit them over the head with this. So, L, you might need this. They don't like your pie. Emma said if people are arguing in the comments, she's gonna, she's gonna get them with this pounder. Now, this one does have like a little chunk out of it. I like the characters that are in these because they are, you. They're, it was a utilitarian piece. So it was a piece that was actually used to, um, you know, to build a barn or to build some sort of item. And I like all the holes in it and the wear and the wood. Now my, I have some of these and my, what? People laughing in the comments. My dad would put um, stain on these and so they would be really pretty and a, a lot of people will put these on their mantles and use them in their decor i love all the repair pieces the repair the repairs in it you can see here that the piece of wood probably would split and they used these screws to you know to repair the wood i like that part of it um this is 18 dollars, and it's number 37 Number 37, the pounder, or the masher, or the stomper, or the Someone hammer. Said you could use that as a paper towel holder. Ooh, you probably could use that as a paper towel holder. That's a good idea. Um, do you got? Deanna Dill. Okay. Deanna Dill. Yeah, Deanna, if you, um, let me, shall I grab one that is has been, well, I, I can, at some point, I will grab one that has been um, refinished. They do, they're very, very pretty. It brings out all the grain and the wood. So you can use that is as, it heavy? what? Is it, heavy? it is a little heavy. I mean, this is a solid block of wood. I would say it probably weighs maybe two and a half pounds. So it's not like super duper heavy, but it is a little heavy. It's not like shipping out a um, salt and pepper shaker. Okay, this is a piece that I've had in the shop since we have opened, so been open for five years but I mean we're closed now <laughs> when we were first open um, and it just didn't sell and things like this is you either like it or you don't and I think that you guys will like it I think I I know most of you well enough to know the the, the things that you will be interested in and this is one it's a beautiful etched glass and it's going to be hard to see because of the glare Try to get it. but it says cologne this was in I did show this in my preview video. It's going to be really hard to see. But it has all of this really pretty etched um, pieces on the glass with these leaves. And then it has um, a design all the way around it, basically. But it says cologne in this really pretty font. It does, I don't know if it's a fused bottle. At one point, it had a stopper. The it, the Where the stopper went is... Um, frosted so it doesn't have the stopper there aren't any any chips no cracks no flaws on anywhere the the glass is a little clouded 
it's been a while since it's been clean, so you might be able to clean it a little bit. Um, I usually will put some uh, Dawn dish, dish soap, just a little drop, put it in there, shake it up, and let it sit for a couple days. And it tends to, um, you know, help with that. Cologne. It might be mouthwash. I'm not sure. But it's C-O-L-O-G-N-E. Cologneia. But this is $14.50 and it is number 11. I think it would look great in a bathroom, um, on, a, on a shelf in the bathroom. So number four or number 11 is $14.50. And it's a decent size bottle too, really. Gritty Grit. Gritty Grit. Yep. Yeah, she's bought stuff from me before. Okay. All right. This is something that I have bought recently that will also be in that antique mall haul video. I like this. I, I'm always drawn to things that I can like put a succulent or something like that in. Something that I want to, I've not ever had an air plant, but it's something that I want to try. And I think that this would be the perfect vessel for an air plant. It's like a, it's a hull, H-U-L-L, H-U-L-L-U-S-A. And it's like a chalice of some sort. It's this green drip glaze, very 1970s. It's in excellent condition. There's no chips, cracks, or flaws on it anywhere. Well, there is a glazing, a little chunk of the glaze missing right there. But it's not rough. It feels very smooth. So I just don't know if the glaze just didn't get down in that little crevice there. I think that this would be the perfect vessel for an air plant or a succulent. Yeah, it's a ceramic goblet, basically. Pretty thick thing to drink out of, though. I don't know. But I thought that it was fun and it would be perfect for a, an air plant because I like that it has some height on it so you can bury your display. Um, this is $10 and it's number 40 Number 40 is $10 for the, the chalice pot cup. Ten, I have Joanne Peterman. Joanne Peterman. Got number 40, the chalice. Let me know what you do with it, too. I'm always curious. And people ha do will send me pictures of things that they've bought for me. And um, I like to see that. So if you if you bought something from me and you have it displayed somewhere, and listen, if you buy it to resell, that's cool too. But if you're buying it to use a display, send it to me. Oh, someone, that's a good idea. It would be cute with a little mini pumpkin in there. Yes, that's a good idea. What did you say? What? Nothing. You have the wrong number on these. Oh. Is that the green chalice? It's the green chalice. Okay. And I spelled chalice correctly too, didn't I? No. And was looking at my notes. And the number's also wrong. Yep. Oh. That's number 39. Here. This? Yeah. My studious daughter and sees all my misspelling. I think I misspelled squirrel a couple times too. Oh, yeah. <laughs> she said, oh, yeah. Okay. This next item is, I had it numbered wrong, but we fixed it. The next item is a doily. Oh, it's doily. And I'm not going to show all the doilies at once because then it just gets a little, it gets mad, like a madhouse. She did well. She made the Dean's list, guys. Emma made the Dean's list. She got all A's and B's. So this is a doily. It is, it's white and it has... I don't want to say that it's a true red. It's kind of a pinkish red. It's showing up very red, but I don't I don't consider it like a Christmas red. But it's just a rectangular doilier dresser scarf. It is six dollars and it's number 21. Yeah, Michael. Uh-oh, linens. Number 21 is six dollars for the red and white. I have L. L. L Brinkley. Yeah, we're proud of Emma. She she does good. Our son does good too, but he's taking the math class right now. So that's affecting his GPA just a little bit. 
You don't know anything about that. I wouldn't know anything about being horrible at math or spelling. And I was a teacher. <laughs> Shocker. Anyway, here we go. The next item is a spice tin. Yay. These are my thing. I love these things. I'm the type of person, I love the branding on them. I love the way that the words are. I just love these pieces that were once used for a reason. And now we're using them as our decor. So I do love this. This is Aristo brand pure spices. Uh, this one was paprika. This one was made at the, the market coffee company from Chicago, Illinois. Yeah, I know. I love tins. It's empty. Well, no, it's empty. It looks the same on the other side. This side's actually a little, a little bit in better shape. With most tins, there are there is going to be some wear. This one is not a paper label. It is all metal with the painted graphic on it. This one is $9.50, and it's number 51. I love the side of it, too, so you could display it, you know, sideways or like that. So nine dollars and fifty cents for number fifty one. I have Barb. <gasps> Barb. Something. Barb got it. I don't know how to pronounce her last name. It's Jeffrey's, uh, not sister in law, but kind of <laughs> Jeffrey's friend. Okay. Yes, Emma is single. By the way. Trust me, every time we're watching TV and like Match.com comes on, I'm like, Emma, you can meet the love of your life. No. Just not wife. Yes, it's not Jeffrey's wife. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, I'm like, Emma, look at him. He's got a nice smile. He's a good cook. They always show the guy in the kitchen. And she, she waits for me because they come on. Because we have Roku and Match.com commercial comes on about every other commercial. Does she like a ginger? <laughs> she's over here dying right now okay we're gonna move on before emma melts into her chair okay this is something that i'm even shocked that i'm selling yeah emma don't let we can't have emma stop helping no i mean she's working because i'm paying her remember she's not doing this for free i can't believe that i'm selling these even but i am they are going to be $12, and they are Santas. Santas, Santas. This one, they're both in it. Santa coming out of his chimney with his bag full of goodies. The paint on this is just a little, you know, it's got some paint rubbing issues. As all of this stuff does, if you put this in your sink to wash it, all of the paint will be gone. So you have to be very, very careful when you're washing these. I using a baby wipe or a, a piece of a paper towel with just like spray a little bit of Windex or just a little bit of water and hand clean it because if you put this in those the sink all the paint will be gone the stoppers are still intact they're made in Japan they are $12 and it's number 41 Oops. Number 41 for the salt and pepper shaker Santas. Yeah, he's got salt and pepper in his sacks. I have C.A. Susie. C.A. Susie. You win Santa. And I'm even shocked that I'm selling those, but I can't keep all the Santas in all the land. I'm running out of space. Okay, now I've sold one of these and I actually have another one. So I had three of these. They, it is Albert Pick Company Liberty Vert, Vertified China Gravy Boat. It's a piece of restaurant wear, basically. It has this really pretty Aztec design. I don't know what this design is. The best I can say is it's like an Aztec. It's a very kind of an art deco. It is Albert Pick, the Statue of Liberty on the bottom, a gravy boat. These, I loved using these in displays. You can stick um, pictures in here or letters in there. Uh, this, it, yeah, I know, Barb likes the restaurant wear. Uh, and I used to have the bowls that match this, but I think that they're long gone. Uh, this is $6. 
And yes, refresh, Rachel, refresh. This is $6 and it's number seven. Yeah, it would make a, a really nice succulent planter. I think I have um, pictures in mind. Number seven for the gravy boat. I have AJ's Retro. AJ's Retro. Sorry, Barb. Yeah, I think I do have more of these. Okay. Michael, are you listening? We're getting ready to get into Michael's jam. I like these two, and I have become more and more fond of these. I've never really paid much attention to these books, but oh, thank you, Janet. Oh, thank you. So this is the, the Dead Tree Gives No Shelter by Virgil Scott. It says, I don't want anybody else but you, Eileen said. And she was born to be bad. This girl was born to be bad. Now, this was in the 50s, so this was a scandalous thing. Very scandalous. And I, you know, I got to pick a little paragraph to read. I mean, some of this may not be suitable for the internet. Um, okay, I'm not going to read that. Okay, did I say something, you guys? I raised my eyebrows, then picked up my glass of milk, carefully sticking my little finger out as straight as I did so. I took a sip, held the milk in my mouth for a minute, then squirted it across the table at the Bull Durham kid. Honest to God, it was worth it. In the seven weeks, just to see her face. That wasn't very saucy. But there is some saucy parts in here. The back of it is, I want you, baby. I want you so damn bad, I'll rub Max out if I have to. Um, Mike Brandon was 18 years tough. He already had a police record behind him, and he had learned to take whatever he wanted. But Doris was Max Papa's girl. Max was a bootlegger and a gangster, and he didn't stop at murder to protect his property. Mike bided his time, and when Max was called away on business, he made his play for Doris. They had a brief, intense week together, and then Max returned. His cold eyes searched out their secret, and Mike and Doris waited in fear, waited for the inevitable explosion that meant death for them. Okay, so she was born to be bad. It's basically a love triangle. That's basically what this is. But this was copyrighted, I think, in 1950s, 1952, I believe. It does have a little bit of splitting right there on the front, uh, cover of it, but this is four dollars and it is number 50. Number 50 is four dollars for the dead tree gives no shelter. Ducky Jones, Ducky Jones, Ducky Jones. Yeah, that was definitely not an I Love Lucy. I listened to a podcast this morning about I Love Lucy, it was quite interesting. Okay. The next item are, these are perfect for a, what, Emma? She, you're fired. No, you're not fired. I'm just kidding. These are perfect for a vintage camper. Uh, the cute little campers that people redo. They are just these little vintage whoop, salt and pepper shaker. You can see the S and the P there. The bottoms of them screw off so you can fill them with salt and pepper. They're this fun yellow. Normally you see them in red. But these are in yellow, and there's no maker marks on them at all. But they are $4, and they're number 54. I know, Jeffrey. I need a vintage camper, too. I want one that's already done. I don't want to do any of the work to it, though, because that will never happen. So number 54 is $4. I have Laura Bemos. Laura Bemos. Gotcha. And I have, Laura, I've got some other things for you, too. I don't, I'm saying that just so I can remind myself. Okay. Next, we have some enamelware. Everyone loves enamelware. I love enamelware, too. These are really nice. I love the red and the white. They're very vintage. Uh, these are enamelware cups. There's no maker marks on them. They have, you know, your the typical enamelware, you know, rust spots and that kind of thing. These uh, do look really nice. You can put succulents in, he, in these or... You know, you just can stack them in a display like that. 
Oh yeah, Ricky, that Ricky book's gonna be on the Instagram sale. But these are $15 for the set, and they are number 47. $15 for the set of the enamel cups, and they are number 47. I have Fatbird Finds. Fatbird Finds! And I have not for well, I have kind of forgotten. I have that picture that you guys were asking about over here. So I'll try to remember to take a picture of it. A little bit better picture of it for you. So I haven't totally forgot, but I kind of did. Okay, so this was, I surprisingly went live on Instagram just out of, just because I wanted to. And I had asked people if this could, should be something that I would sell. So I do, I am going to start popping on Instagram and going live just to kind of talk and maybe pick your brains a little bit. But so make sure I follow you. Yes, and make sure you follow me on Instagram. Thirsty Drunk or Vintage Hunter. So, oh yeah, the Hoosier Pies. Oh, I want to, I want a Hoosier cabinet. I don't have one. I've sold them, but I don't have one in my house. But I asked if I should show this, and everyone said yes. And it's this lamp. It has the satin glass base to it in this really pretty pink color. It does not have the cord on it either, the cord. But these are easy enough to rewire or, you know, to put a new cord on it. The, the light fixture or the light part itself, I would probably replace two maybe. I don't know. I'll let you be the judge. Or you could just use it as a decor piece. It has a little nook right here that it probably had some sort of a shade on it that hung a little like a little boudoir lamp. I didn't know what to do with this. It didn't sell in, in the shop, but I thought that you guys might see the beauty in it and maybe would want to do something with it. So this is $6 and it is number 45. <clears throat> Number 45 is $6. It is very pretty with a satin glass. There's no marks on it at, at all, but you could put an Edison bulb in here too without the shade. I do that a lot with lamps. I you know, Michelle at Mermaid Cove. Michelle at Mermaid Cove. Oh, and I'll go ahead and say here too, if you buy something from me, send me an email, thrifterjunker at vintage hunter. No. Thrifter Junker Vintage Hunter at gmail.com and um, with and with your address and your email for PayPal. And if you have a different name on YouTube than, than your actual name, which a lot of people do, make sure that I have both. Yeah, Edison bulbs. I like using Edison bulbs in in lamps if I can if I if it doesn't have a shade. All right. Next we have another doily. This one's very pretty. It has these really pretty pink and black and green trim with lace all the way around. It has some little, like teeny tiny little holes there. It would look cute on a shelf, you know, if you draped it over the end of a shelf like that. Um, I didn't, Anna. I didn't. I forgot. It, I mean, if you happen to win it and... Um, She's talking about the San Francisco book. I'll show that shortly. If you happen to win it, Anna, and um, and we'll do the shipping. And if you decide that you don't want it, that's fine. You know, we'll just I'll just show it in the next sale. She lives in Sweden, and we're gonna see. I mean, it'll ship media maybe, but but we'll see. All right. So this is uh, six dollars, and it's number twenty-two for the little doily. Six dollars for number twenty-two. I have CCC. CCC. All right. Next, we have a little bottle. This is just a little nugget bottle. Um, these sales, are these sales only for YouTubers? Oh, no. They're not for, I sell to people that don't have a YouTube channel all the time. The This little cute little nugget bottle is in Boss, and it's the Abner Royce Company. Uh, pure fruit flavors from Cleveland, Ohio. Boop, it's embossed there. Uh, no other markings on it at all, but it's a, just a cute little little medicine bottle. I like it because it's not because of its size, because it's little. And this is five dollars, and it is number fifty nine. 
Number 59 is $5. You can display it sideways because it has this flat edge on it. So you can display it on a shelf sideways or up and down like that. I have C.A. Susie. C.A. Susie for the cute little bottle. This is something that didn't sell in one of my last sales. And I'm going to show it again because I think that they're just adorable. They are these. And I, again, I didn't... I didn't put tissue paper in there, but there's these cute little ba vintage baby shoes and you can put some sort of a paper in there to prop them up if you're going to use them for a display. And there, you get both of them, you get two shoes. They come with their original laces. They are made by Ideal, the Ideal Shoe Company, which there was an Ideal Shoe Company here on the square where I, where I live and the the neat thing I think about that is they come in their original box, the ideal baby shoes. So, you know, you can display the shoes with some stuffing in them on the box. I love the box. These are me. These are, so these are the original box that came with these shoes. And on the inside, it has the little size chart and it even has the original tissue paper that, um, that went in for the shoes. These are $8. And they are number 40. Number 40 for the little baby shoes are $8. Number 40. I know. Hi, Kirsten. I have frills up there. Oh, Dee. Dee, you bought baby shoes from me last time. Kirsten's Curiosities has a great YouTube channel, guys. And she's in England. So it's really fun to see what she finds. So make sure that you check out her YouTube channel. All right. I don't know why I'm still showing those because they're Dee's. All right. Okay. This is very pretty. I know a lot of people like mirrors. Just for decor. She bought the shoes. <laughs> yeah. So this is really pretty. It has some issues, but a lot of people like mirrors. And I can't not buy mirrors that are shaped like this. And this is made from Bakelite. It's not celluloid. It is Bakelite. And it has... The, the design is, has a very, really pretty design. It is worn, though. You can see some of the black paint is worn off. But the mirror itself is still in good condition. It has um, smudges on it for me cleaning it with Windex. And the I like that it's just tapered. I like the shape of it. Um, a lot of people will hang these on their walls. Um, I know a lot of people will just have like a whole wall full of these old mirrors. This is $6 and it is number five. Number five for the vintage mirror is $6. I have Cindy's thrifting again. C. Murray. C. Murray. I don't know. <laughs> Cindy's thrifting again. Got this. <laughs> I know. Everybody want to have a good, have a good on the book. I'm guessing her name is Cindy Murray. <laughs> so make sure that you do send me an email when this all, all this is over and my email will be in the description below so you don't have to write it down right now it is in the description all right this next item i had someone send me one of these and this one is one that i already had but of course i kept the one that was sent to me and i i mean i didn't have this in my house i had it here at the shop and it's another tin with the native american on it it is the cal calumet and it was the double acting baking powder. So really neat colors and graphics on here. I love, love, love these tins. And this has the directions on the back. And, you know, we've been talking about so what some people could, I'm not going to endorse it or condone it, but, you know, it's like, it's a, it's a stashy, a stashy tin where you can use it in your decor. This is $6 and it's number 34. This one, I'm trying to see where it says it was made from. It was made by General Foods in New York. I have Connie Ainsley. Connie oh, Ainsley. Got it. Okay. What was that called? Okay. Calumet 10. All right. This next item has some issues in it a little bit, but... Hi, everyone. Just curious if my comments are coming through. Yes, June, I can see you now. I didn't. The comments sometimes go pretty fast for me, but I'm seeing it now. 
not big enough for a chocolate stash. Well, I might have one that might be, Kathy. You might have one that big enough for a, a um, chocolate stash. Okay, this next item is made. It's a like a Hoosier cabinet jar. It's made out of pretty thick glass there. And um, it has a piece of tape on the bottom. That's a piece of tape on the bottom. It's not any damage to it. But the damage is, I think at one time it probably was dropped and it didn't break because they made things good back then but you can kind of see the internal shatter it doesn't feel rough on either side so it was like an internal shatter i guess oh, i saw i see that laura <laughs> um that has an aluminum lid that screws on nicely you couldn't stash anything in here that you wanted to because you could see it it's clear and it is uh six dollars and it's number 36 for the little Hoosier cabinet aluminum lid jar. It's not Hazel Atlas or anything. There are there aren't any makers marks on it at all. I have Sandra Run Runyon. Sandra Runyon. Number 36. Or six dollars for number 36. Okay. This is something that dad had picked up hmm, a little while ago. I think like right before the whole shutdown thing had started. And this is one thing too that I debated on keeping because I see purposeful ways to display with it, but it's this cute little minnow can. It doesn't have any of the graphic on it. it. At one time it had, you know, this sticker on it. So it's not as old as the ones that were, um, had the, the really neat painted on graphic on it. So this one is just cute, but I see it to be, you can use it for display purposes. You know, you can stack things on it. And it is just like a galvanized metal can. You can see there. I'm not going to open it. Or you are. Or I am. See on the inside. I just don't like fish. And the, just the fact that there were fish in here probably at one point just kind of creeps me out. So this is $14 and it's number 60. It's not heavy. Oh, and it's not heavy. I mean, it's not, it weighs maybe a pound. You know, it's not like loaded with lead or anything. It weighs maybe a pound. So it is $14 and it's number 60. I have Alyssa. Alyssa Voigt or Vought. What? I don't know. Michael, no, I'm not smelling this, Michael. No, no, no. I don't like fish. So I don't even, I don't, you know, I don't like to look at fish. I don't swim in water where there's fish. I don't do fish. I don't eat fish. Okay. No, it hasn't, Sue. Next, I mean, I haven't showed it yet. I haven't showed the book yet. Okay, so the next thing is, this is really cool. This big pink and green doily, round doily. There's no flaw on it anywhere. I don't see any stains on it anywhere. This is $8 and it's number 20. This is just a string from a price tag. $8 for number 20. Yeah, it is really pretty. Mm -hmm. it's really... Corey the Thrifted Artist. Corey the Thrifted Artist. Corey, you live, I think you live in Indiana, don't you, Corey? I don't remember. I think so. And if I remembered that, that's like a banner day. Okay, this was something else that ha I had shown when I went live on Instagram that I was like, people are going to think I'm crazy for showing this. But people were like, oh, good. I remembered that. And I remembered that she lives in Indiana. Remembered. I remembered. Do you guys remember the member berries from um, um, uh, South Park? The member berries? If Cindy's, my friend Cindy's watching. It's kind of a thing. She remembers. Oh, I remember. You remember? Oh, I remember. Okay. Anyway, Google the member berries and you'll have a nice little laugh. So this is something that I sh kind of talked about showing and I thought people were going to think I'm nuts, but that won't be the first time that that has happened. But it's a cool, it's the Kool-Aid man. Do y'all remember the Kool-Aid man? Now we had this whole set as a child. My mom's in the chat, so... She uh will uh no is that Cindy from Firehouse Antiques? Is that you, Cindy? Are you CA Cindy? I didn't remember, never made that connection. If you are, I love Firehouse Antiques. I love New Harmony, Indiana. 
Okay, so this is um, the Kool-Aid Man. And my mom, we had the cup, so I went with it too. And I saw this and it just brought back that nostalgia for me. And it's plastic, it's very lightweight. And, uh, oh yeah, the Kool-Aid Man. I know that they have made these. Oh yeah, he does have a face. Boop, he does have a face. And I, he doesn't change color or anything. I know that they had the red ones that were a little bit more newer than these. And he is a little yellowed, but he is $5 and he's number 31. He's from the 80s, $5 for the Kool-Aid man. And it has the little lines for you to make your Kool-Aid. Connie Ainsley. Connie Ainsley. Now, when I was in college, I was a Tri-Delta girl. And well, we did some things with, shame, shame, shame. with uh, Kool-Aid and vodka back in the day. And I think, I can't remember, it was, it was a blue one. Hmm. But Emma, do, Emma, Emma doesn't uh, do those sorts of things. She can't, she's not old enough yet. Right. She has a couple more months to wait. Okay. My chat went away. No alcohol. I mean, when I was in college, I had alcohol, Mom. Just saying. Okay. The next thing is another book, not the San Francisco book. It is this book. It is, you can't see around corners. And it is probably another love triangle book. I am sure this one, it was 25 cents at one time. Huh? It's kind of creepy. It's not you creepy. Can't you can't see around corners. Meet Frankie McCoy. He's a doll chaser and a hoodlum. He looks like, he looks so well-dressed. He was a well-dressed hoodlum, apparently. And F Frankie McCoy, oh no. Look at, maybe that's Frankie. And that's the nice guy, because he looks like a hoodlum, and that guy's holding a knife. So this one says, Frankie's quite a boy. Money came easy to him, and the girls came easier. Everything, in fact, was going Frankie's way until the army butted in. They drafted Frankie. Um, but Frankie got even by deserting. What a dirty guy. It wasn't bad enough that he had spent his days in hiding. Now the horses began running out of money. Out of the money. Was he a gambler? I don't know. That put two hoodlums on his trail who wanted to get paid or else. But the, but the worst was yet to come. For the first time in his life, a girl said no. Now the police wanted Frankie. This book has solar plexus punch that you'll bound to feel it deserves plenty of success. I don't know. But it's saucy book. And apparently he was not a very good American because he ditched his duty in the army. Oh, and I think I said I saw the F-U-C-K word in the 50s. Did they use that word back in the 50s? Surely not. Okay, so this book is in actually, it's in really good condition. Yeah, these old books are great. Um, so this one, the copyright is, I'm sure, 19, this one might be earlier than 1952. See, I do this all the time. I should look these up. I looked up the one and not this one. This one is copyright... Oh, 19, well, the original copyright was 1947. So this is a second edition. And this was copyrighted in 1953, which was when my mom was born. But I'll let you, she's young. But anyway, this is $4 and it's number 49. Number 49 is $4. If you want to find out what happens with Frankie, the not very good American, Michael, right? Okay, I said before Emma gave me the okay. Michael, good deal. Michael likes to buy those books. Michael, have you read any of them yet? You have to let me know. Okay, the next item is another, it's a dresser scarf. This one's really pretty. It's pretty long here and it has a yellow, well, it has these flowers hand stitched on each end. There is a couple small little yellowing stains on it, but no holes on it. It's been washed, but not treated because I don't clean things up as far as getting stains and stuff out of them because 
I like things the way that they, the way that I've gotten them. But it has this really pretty, it's kind of an orangish yellow trim all the way around it. This is $8 and it's number 19. Number 19 is $8. I've always loved hoodlums. I have Stacy Brinkley. Stacy Brinkley. Ooh, the sisters. The sisters. You and Elle are sisters, right, Stacy? All right. Next, I'm going to show this cute little thing. Now, I originally was going to show this on Instagram, but I'm I'm going to I'm going to show it to YouTube. It's this let me hide the number. It's this cute little aqua green. Oh, Stacy, you're her mother. Oh, that's even funner. I was going to say more fun. That doesn't make any sense. That's not good grammar. This is this cute little um seafoam green pot. <laughs> <laughs> I lost my words there for a minute. No markings on it. It does have a very much of a brush McCoy feel. I don't think that it's McCoy, but it has that brush McCoy texture and feel to it. Um, I had this in my house for a while on a tiered tray, but I'm 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 gonna go ahead and sell it. I know this is my collar. I love this collar. It's like a jadeite green. It has issues. It has a chip right here and a mysterious hole right there, only on the one side. Cause I thought maybe it hung at one time. Not unless it, it might've hung like that. You know, they have those pots that would hang sideways. Oh yes, I'll show the bottom again. Yeah, though that's not any marking. That's just kind of like some, some freckling, I guess, on it. Um, this is, um, how much is it? $6 and it's number 61. Number 61 is $6. But see, you can display it like this and you will never know. Sue Terrellinger. Oh, Sue Terrellinger. I can never say your name, Sue. We apologize. You probably get that all the time, though. You're probably used to it. Okay, so the next item are some bookends. I don't think George is watching, watching but George is a sucker for bookends. And, and um, I don't think that he, I don't know, he might like these. But these are brass. They are not magnetized, so a metal or a magnet does not stick to them. They are brass. They ha are monogrammed with the letter O. They're in rough condition. They ha they're pretty scrapped. But they're very, very much like an Art Nouveau um, motif on them. And they're both of them. And you can, you know, Michael, you can get all your books. And you can display them in these cool bookends. They are brass. They're not very heavy. Ooh, and I just saw, I didn't think that they had a maker's mark on them. They are um, Fairware. And from Brooklyn, New York. And they are, um, how much are they? How much are you? Oh, they're $6 and they are number six. And they've got the O on it for, oh my gosh, I got some new bookends. I have Atraman 2. Atraman 2. Gotcha. All right. How about we show the San Francisco book, okay? We'll show the San Francisco book. This is really, really cool. I actually had this in pinky. I usually put things in pinky that I'm thinking about maybe keeping. Um, this is the San Francisco. I'm sorry, Audra. This is the San Francisco book here. San Francisco's Great Disaster. Look at the graphics on here. This is what I love about these books. It's by Sydney Tyler. Earthquake, fire, and volcano. Cal and there's that Vesuvius that I'm going to pronounce wrong. The spine of it has a really nice graphic on it as well. I know. Isn't this great? And this was in my video. It's, it's copyrighted 1906. So it's an antique book. It just basically is an account of the all of the events that happened around that um, the San Francisco Great Disaster. It has these really nice illustrations on the inside, no color illustrations, but the book itself is in fantastic condition. The binding is sound on it. 
There isn't any writing on the inside flaps. There's a little stain right there. Vesuvius. Thank you, Mother. Um, so, you know, a lot of people will display books like that. That's kind of an in-trend thing to do. But I'm a sucker for all of these graphics and the fonts on it. So I display books with the spine showing. This is $10. And it is number 46. Number 46 is $10. I have Sandra Runyon. Sandra Runyon. Sandra, Sandra Runyon. And listen, I have so many books that I need to list. I have some amazing books back there. You have to think, my dad has been buying these books for over, you know, probably 50 years. And he's gotten this stuff like in the 80s, 70s, and 80s a lot of times. And it's stuff that you just don't see anymore. That he's hoarded in his house to one day have a shop. Okay. Oh, in this car. I want a full book sale. I'm thinking about it, Michael. But I've shown books before and those videos never do too well. Not that it really matters because if I'm selling books... That's the whole point, right? So we'll see. We'll see. Okay. This is something that doesn't really sell very well in my area. And it, it's just like glassware that I just don't, I don't buy a lot of glassware. No, this is a strawberry. This is a strawberry refresher from Starbucks. They're amazing. And they, they're caffeinated. Emma's taking selfies of herself. Emma, get back to work. I'm not paying you to take selfies. So this is a really pretty black amethyst. Some people will call it black milk glass, but it's black amethyst. And it has this transfer of these silver flowers on it. It is very pretty. It does have the lid with it. No, no flaws, no chips, no cracks, no flaws. You cannot see through it. It is solid. And the, the lid is, I, people like that sound, the glass sound. I'm being careful with it. It is heavy. This is heavy. So it's going to cost a little something to ship, especially, I'm in Indiana. So if you're out West, things are incredibly expensive. It is, I don't know. It is not Ellie Smith. It is not marked. There's the bottom. It is, oh, my nose is itching in an inappropriate time. The scroll work on the um, handle is really pretty too. Um, this is, what did I say? It's black amethyst with the silver flower overlay. This is $20. Whoop, let me get the front of it. Where are you at front? $20, no chips on it anywhere. And it is number three. Number three, let me just run my finger. I am feeling, I have CCC. Okay, CCC, I am feeling like a little bit of roughness. I don't think they're like more like, oh, my nose is itching, more like flea bites than, um, than chips. Still usable if you wanted to use it. It's a casserole, it's a covered casserole of some sort or, it's for fancy pants, right? Fancy pants dinner. Oh, I'm so sorry, Anna. It could be, Jeffrey. I should have asked you, actually, because I know that you, this is kind of your jam. Um, but everything that I have looked on, up on it, and my dad is like, that's black amethyst. That's black amethyst. So, I, you know, it could be used as a cookie jar. I, I don't know. It wouldn't hold a whole lot of cookies, but... Yeah, it has a very pretty shape. Did you say you had a, a winner on it? C -C -C. Oh, CCC. Very pretty. And this is not made out of the same material. But I want to show them because they, they resemble one another a little bit. But these are redware. And it has the, you know, the telltale signs of the the bottom of it. They do have the st stoppers in them, but they, they resemble that dish a lot. I think these little salt pepper shaker urns, they have the original stoppers in them. Uh, I just thought that they kind of 
they kind of match it, but not really. And these are $6, and they are number 27. Number 27 is $6. There's no chips on them anywhere. They're black with the, and the S and the P is kind of engraved in there and painted over. I have Laura B. Laura B. Motes. Got the salt and pepper shakers. Next we have a, what does this say? A, I don't know. I don't know what it says on the bottom, but it's a, it's a chocolate coated fruits and nuts made by Belle Mead Sweets. Very, very pretty kind of art nouveau-esque. I love the font on there. The cover of it, it's a tin. It's like a chocolate's tin. It does have some some rusty spots on it. Yeah, it does. Uh, it, it could be from then, Michael. Let me see if I can get it open. Oh, well, that's a surprise. Ooh, that's kind of nice, though. Here's the milk. I didn't realize this, but it's got a little baby on the inside. <laughs> There's a little baby in there. It's a little baby on a piece of wax paper. Maybe the original wax paper. I think it does. I think it's got all of the separators in it and like the padding that's on the bottom. So that's kind of neat. I didn't realize, I didn't even open it up. The lid does, sh you know, take a little bit of, um, oh, the salt pepper font, maybe. Take, takes a little bit of persuasion to get on, but this is a really cool tin. I know a lot of people like chocolate and candy tins. The, like I said, it is a little bit, it's a little rough. Um, this is eight dollars. It's Bell Mead. Eight dollars for number thirty-five. Ooh, I just made you. Just made the San Francisco earthquake. Number thirty-five is eight dollars. Yeah, I'm thinking it was probably from the thirties. Lusta Fitzpatrick. Lusta Fitzpatrick. All right. Next, this is something that I also have recently bought that you will see in the haul video when I decide to edit that and get that one up. I'm taking the sticker off the bottom of it, the, the price sticker. This is a vintage planter, drip glaze, really pretty uh, green and the inside, it's flawless. It doesn't have any chips or cracks on it at all. It is $14 and it's number 38. Laura Bemos is letting CCC have the shaker. Oh, Laura Bemos, that was nice of you. Emma, Emma has it all written down. All right, so number 38 is $14. I have Shirley Pearl. Shirley Pearl. Every time I say I see your name, Shirley, I think if my mom calls me, she calls me Mitty, M-I-D-D-Y, but she says, Mitty, girl, my little pearl. Oh, I know. So whenever I see your name, I always think about that. People are very nice. It's good to see in these kinds of days. All right, this is really neat. I love things with animals on it. And you, it's something that you, I mean, you do see in linens, but not that often. But this one has a lion on it. And it's all hand stitched on there on this little doily. I think that this would be really cute to turn into a pillow to have as like an overlay on the pillow. And it's all hand stitched on the back. You are my little pearl, Mitty. I know. Yeah, Lion King. Um, this is six dollars and it's number 17. Number 17 is six dollars. And like I left this string on there. It's just a string because it looked old. So I thought maybe that's original to it. And I didn't take it off because that's how I, that's how my brain works. I'm like, oh, it's been on here all this time. Who am I to take it off? All right. Did you get? 17 was Ooh. Andrea Joseph. Andrea. If Evan is watching, hello, Evan. Let's try another milk bottle. Um, this one didn't sell, did it? Maybe I'll sort of show that one at the end. Or at the... This one is neat because it has the painted label on it. 
um, which this it, it just displays better. But this is, I like it because it says drink Midwest milk. Oh, hi, Evan. This is mid drink Midwest milk, and I like it because, you know, I live in the Midwest. Uh, Midwest Dairy Products Corporation. Terry, try to refresh. Make sure that you're in live chat. Sometimes you have to, like, completely go off and then come back on again. I've, I've had to do that a couple times on other people's sales. I've, like, completely closed it out and then came back on, and it was better. Um, but, oh, I didn't even see this until now. That's so weird. But, look. It says Midi and Westy see the Midwest quality and flavor twins say your biggest food ladder. So look, it says Midi, M-I-D-D-Y. Isn't that neat? I'm not gonna keep it, but so it has the Midi and Westy twins on it. So this is no, I'm not keeping it. <laughs> this is $15 and it's number 33 for the Midwest dairy bottle the little kids on it. This, you know, displays a lot nicer than the ones that don't have the, the paint on it. I'm Shirley Pearl. Shirley Pearl. Okay, this next thing is heavy. Yeah, I don't know what the deal is today. It could be, I don't know. It, it could be any number of things. I don't know. You never know. That's That's the unfortunate thing with the internet. Yesterday, it was really bad in here. Oh, okay. I feel like I have to sneeze. I have to be very careful. Okay, this is very heavy. So I'm just going to throw that out there now. And I don't know if anyone will want this. This is made by McCoy. And it's, I don't know what this means. If you know what, Zupa? What does that mean? I know I looked it up at one point, but it's brown. It is a McCoy crock. I could see you could put use this to put uh, utensils in. Maybe it was a cookie jar. I don't know. It doesn't have like a recessed part where there would have been a lid. That was soup. It's an Italian soup. Thank you. But so is this a soup server? Would you serve soup in this? You wouldn't cook soup in it. But it is McCoy. It's marked McCoy on the bottom, which is why I bought it because I cannot not buy McCoy. You can't see it. But it does say... Oh, that is right. It is a soup at Olive Garden. Um, this is, like I said, it's heavy. So if you live far away from Indiana, it's going to be, it's going to cost a, something to send it. But this is $10 and it's number 56. Now the writing on this is um, brown. It's not black. So the, it's 10 or it's tan with a brown font. Andrea, Andrea Joseph. Well, you're in Indiana, so that won't be too bad. And I can, you know, put it aside. She's got some other things she's wanting to pick up here from me. So just let me know, Andrea, if that's what you want to do. Because it's kind of heavy. Oh, look, a lot of people wanted that. See, sometimes I don't know. Sometimes I just don't know. All right, this next thing is a pillowcase cover that is, um, has this embroidered bird on it with the roses and this little frilly lace trim and it has on the bottom here it has the snaps that so you can put your throw pillow in there i think that this would look really cute on a porch or on a porch swing with a little bluebird on it it has is that on the front or on the back when i'm holding it up i see like a little faint stain right there you know what that's not i think that's a piece of yarn on the inside what are you I think it's a piece of yarn on the inside. But this is $6, and it's number 16. $6 for number 16. The back of it is plain. So I think it'd be pretty on a porch. Andrea Joseph. Andrea Joseph. Okay. This is something that, well, I think might be a little popular. Um, I've... I, I brought this from home. I have I have some of these, and I, I can't keep them all. And again, I am not a glass person. I don't know patterns of glasses. I probably should because this is what I do for a living, and I've been around it my entire life. It's just not something that ever really interested me. 
So I know that in the comments, you all might know the pattern for this, but I, I don't. So it's a, it's a fairy lamp, which I love the fairy lamps. Don't get me wrong. I have a lot of them. I like, I just don't know the pattern. So, and I don't know who made it, if it's Ellie Smith, if it's Indiana Glass. My gut is telling me it's probably Indiana Glass. It has the flower on the bottom and these little flowers on the side. Tierra Glass. My mom knew that. Well, mom, you didn't teach me much, apparently, about the glassware. I know my mom knows a lot. My mom, you know, obviously raised me around antiques too. But yes, Connie, Connie, I can see your comment. So yeah, the, I think that this is it. My gut is telling me that it's Indiana glass. I, so mom said it was a tiara pad, pattern. Okay, there's no chips, no cracks, no flaws on anywhere. If you don't know, you put a candle in here and it creates a nice little ambiance. So this is number 57 and it is $12. Yeah, where is you that? Haven't, haven't shown 52 yet. I haven't shown 52 yet. So maybe people thought that they saw that and that it was 52. It's actually 57. Okay, the first 57 comment was Kate Reinhardt. Reinhard? Kate Reinhardt. Reinhard. Look at you all trying to be sneaky. That's why I got to hide the, the tags. But sometimes I forget. Sneaky McSneakersons. Okay, this needs cleaned. I'm just gonna throw that out there right now. I haven't cleaned it and it needs cleaned. It is made by Folly. It's a juice squeezer or a, a lemon squeezer, orange squeezer. I don't know, but it's made by Folly, F-O-L-E-Y. Yes, Foley, Folly, whatever. Um, it's aluminum and it needs cleaned. I mean, it. see, it needs cleaned. I have not washed this. Uh, it's very, very lightweight. It's just an aluminum juice squeezer. It looks great as a decor piece. Reamer. Thank you, Jeffrey. I forgot my words. This is $3 and it's number 28. Very 28. Oh, they got the number from the sneak peek video. Y'all. Sneaky. I didn't even think about that. Okay, who do you have, Emma? 28 was Deanna Dill. Deanna Dill. I'm going to have to be thinking about my thumbnail pictures because it's the most of the time I don't even remember to take a thumbnail picture. I thought I was doing good to take one and then y'all sneaky sneakers and who knows what else. Detectives. Yeah, they're like the detectives. <laughs> detectives. Oh, okay. Okay. Ready? Here we go. These are, is more enamel wear. And I saw all those numbers. I thought, girl, yeah, you were, see, Karen, you probably didn't look ahead either. So you got it honestly. Okay, so this is enamelware. It's two plates and one saucer. These are old. They have a very different um, texture and weight to them than, than like these. These are a little bit more heavier. They have a heavier weight. These are a little bit more lightweight and they're thinner. They are not marked. They have a navy blue trim. And I mean, they're, they're, they're enamel wear. So they've got like scratches and dings in them. But see, I like that sound of the enamel wear. The cup itself does not have any marks on it either. And it's got a part where the enamel is kind of missing a little bit, but very cute piece it is twelve dollars you get all three pieces for twelve dollars and it's number 48 Oop. number 48 you can't even see the number is twelve dollars i know it's a good sound i like the sound of terry ann's terry ann's eclectic this and that see terry ann you got it see your your internet's working just fine now Okay. Ooh, I about broke something. Okay. The book was open with the numbers. On your log. Hmm. You open. guys, I didn't even think about do y'all are sneaky. I mean, I, there's no hate because you know. You put it off out there. I, I put it out there, so okay, so this is another advertising tin again now this isn't a tin this is more of a cardboard so it's not metal 
it's more of a of a cardboard and the the shaker is metal and the bottom obviously is metal but the the advertisement piece is not a metal tin it's sort of like a really thick toilet paper tube okay anyway that's my analogy but i like the font and the graphics on it it's calatine powder I, this was in my video too because i almost kept this one because i like that it said that it's recommended for sallow and oily skin and and for the removal of blackheads wouldn't that be fun to put in your bathroom i showed the pages when did i show the pages i didn't watch it i don't know did you hear that i didn't watch your video i don't know she never watches my videos Prepared at the Research Laboratories in Chicago, Illinois. This is really cool. Let me, it's $8 and it's number four. And it has a yellow and this is more of like a navy blue. It's coming across a little green. I have Sherry Crater. Sherry Crater. Oh, did some, was somebody else having a sale right now too? I don't know. Someone said, I feel bad. Oh, maybe she's talking to somebody else. Hi, Mimi. Oh, I can't even see. My preview, I showed the pages. Naughty, naughty. I am um, going to have to be careful, I guess, next time. I didn't even think about that. Okay. So, let's try this. This is a Drew, D-R-U, enamel, heavy. This is heavy. This is heavy. Um, this is, has the, I can't even call it, it's the tulip pattern. So this is my collar. This is the great, like an aqua green color. And that the little tulips here are in like a forest green or a Kelly green. It is, ha, does have some wear. This has been, it has been used. Um, and they, it says made in Holland on the bottom. It's number 17. This is heavy. It is a heavy piece. It's a pretty weapon. Someone said. It would be a pretty weapon. So you, if you got the pounder, you could get him on the other side with this cast iron. It is cast iron with covered in enamel. So it is heavy. It is, uh, 25, number 25, and it is $14. Number 25. Is fourteen dollars. Lesta Fitzpatrick. Lesta Fitzpatrick. Got the enamel pan. Okay. This is a wooden bowl. I don't think that this is like. It's not an antique. It isn't a like a primitive bowl. Uh, I can just I can just tell that it's not. It's been painted, obviously has these like ribbed grooves in it with these really pretty um yes it, it's coming soon uh with the um really really pretty painted flowers in there i can just <coughs> i can kind of tell from the bottom that it's not it's not ancient old i don't think it's an antique i mean it's definitely it's definitely vintage but it's not an antique very boho um, I actually had it set up on a uh, plate rack or plate stand so you could display it like that in your at home in your display. This is number 52 and it is $15. Number 52 is $15 for the wooden bowl. Laura Bemos. Laura Bemos. Okay. All right, I'm showing the pink McCoy vase. Maybe what I should do, since everybody was being cheater McCheater pants, I'll tell Emma a different. No, let's not do that. A different number. There's not that many things left. I'll give it a letter. Can you make it a letter? Yeah. Okay. So we're going to give us a letter, and then I'll have to hand it to her so she can put the letter on it. So get your get your um you could only see like two numbers well i'm just gonna do a letter i'm just gonna do a letter so i'm then i'll hand it to her and she'll write the letter on the tag okay 
So this is the really pretty pink, like a rose pink McCoy. It is marked McCoy USA on the bottom. No, no chips, no cracks, no flaws. I love the texture of it. I could just sit and just touch this all day. I love McCoy though. I don't like glassware, but I like um, pottery. So this pretty piece of McCoy is $16 and it is letter C. Letter C for the McCoy. I don't know why I didn't make it letter M, but it's letter C. I'll be too easy. Stacy Brinkley. Stacy Brinkley. And look, I'm giving. I already have it written on here. I'll use it later. Okay. You have what the item is on the paper. I know, but I know me. You might. I'll, you, I'll you should just write the letter on it for me. Oh. Just saying. Okay. Next we have a puppet. Look, you, go, you can have a puppet show with your children with this fun doll with the big cracks in her head. So the head is a composition head doll. And the body is made from felt. And she's in really good condition. Like her body and stuff is in very good condition. Um, yeah, I know. I'm, I'm changing. It's not creepy. This is glorious. Look. It looks like, it kind of looks like this eye maybe has been repainted. But the co composition head is, well, no, maybe not. I don't know. The composition head is in decent condition. It's got um, a little hole in her head right there. Creepy elf on the shelf, yeah. And her head's just a little splitting. She's just splitting just a little bit, not too bad. Same. But yeah, you could frighten your children with this. That would be great fun. But, you know, she's got her little slit in the back for that you can put your hand through. This is $12, and it's number, or it's letter F. Letter F is the doll. Yes, she is. Boop, 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 boop. Oh, yeah, you can give this to your daughter. It would be a great wedding present. Oh, Rachel! Oh, and I know Rachel will do something fun with that. So I'm going to give that to Emma. So she can put that on the tag. I won't touch it. I know the I don't ever get half of my notifications on YouTube either. YouTube is 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 funny. Hi Pat D's. How are you, friend? Pat D's also has a YouTube channel too, guys. He's a reseller. Make sure that you do that. I'm outsmarting the sneaky. Okay. The next item is. Uh, an apron. I love this apron. This is a, a embroidered apron with the hearts on it with this really fun red. And it does have some a little bit of yellowing on it. It's been washed, but it hasn't been treated. So it's all hand stitched on the back. It also has a very generous tie around the waist. If, I mean, I can appreciate that. Has a little pocket here. So you can put your, I don't know, your dusting cloth. What? It's a country girl apron. I don't know, maybe. But this is $12, and it is letter A for apron. Oh, boy. Letter A. You need to be more creative than that. No, I, they didn't see that one coming because I didn't start with letter A. Okay, Michelle at Mermaid Cove. Michelle at Mermaid Cove. So I'll give that to Emma so she can change the, the thing on it. Yeah, see, I have to be sneaky for the sneaky McSneakersons. Although I don't blame you. Let me, let me just say that, but still I have to try to be fair. Oh, pockets of stash your pearls. Yes, I forgot. I forgot about the pearls. Okay, I am surprised that I'm selling these because they're just kind of odd and weird and i love them and they are a recent purchase of mine and they just make me so happy i don't know why but they are these little squirrel i thought that they were bugs at first because he kind of looks squirrel items today a lot yeah he kind of looks like um like you know one of those little bug figurines but then like she definitely looks like a squirrel so they are squirrels. I know, they're fancy pants squirrels. They're going to the ball 
in their little from their the club. I don't know. Oh, maybe they are chipmunks, Vinny. Squirrels, chipmunks, maybe they are chipmunks. I always forget about chipmunks. Okay, but they're marked Japan on the bat bottom. Mr. Mr. Chipmunk doesn't have his stopper. Well, look at the way he's sitting with his little knees stuck out. And she's like all proper. And like he looks like he is like, all right. And she's like, oh no. <laughs> I love the faces on things. So these are $12. Why is he holding it? I don't know, Vinny. They're not, they're yellow. At least they're yellow. So these are $12 and they are letter, I gotta think, Z. I can think of a letter that I haven't used. Letter Z. I love them. What number? Z. Letter Z. That's not helping me. Oh, they were, they were number 42, but the letter Z now. The first Z was Ducky Jones. Ducky Jones, you lucky duck. Oh, <laughs> see what I did there? No, I'm not allowing numbers. There were Cheater McCheater Pants, which was really pretty clever of them. Apparently, I had, um, on my video, I had left the whole page out so people could see and, and decide that they're going to get something and know the number ahead of time. So, I'm giving in. A letter. Okay, speaking of the squirrels, I have shown a lot of squirrel things today. These are, need cleaned. I haven't cleaned them. But I know, I, Laura, I can't be mad at that either, but I gotta, you know, I gotta be fair because some people were mad. So these are glorious. They are very kitschy, which I love. These salt and pepper shakers. I mean, isn't this fun? Imagine having, sitting down and you're like, I'm going to put some salt on my mashed potatoes oh thank you squirrel at least it's coming out of his head not his behind but they have their stoppers and i love these i love these they're hanging just hanging on their little tree the it does have a little bit of you know paint wear there on on the green but again you're not going to want to soak these in your sink because the paint at least the green paint i'm not sure if they're brown paint I think the brown paint might be okay. Like the gold paint um, and the green paint and the black paint were added after. So I wouldn't wash. The oh, he doesn't have a stopper. One of them doesn't have a stopper. But they are super cute. There's no chips, no cracks on them. They do need a little cleaning. Um, and I think that they're they're just so cute. And they are $15 and they are number. Oh, no. They are letter. Here, Emma. Did you find it? They are letter P. I don't think I've, I have. Emma will let me know if I have called a letter previously because I don't know. So these are four, no, $15 for letter P. I have Lusta Fitzpatrick. Lusta Fitzpatrick. They're so cute. All right. Plants are selling like plants or planters. I have another vase. This one's beautiful. This one is um, like a brush McCoy. Very Art Deco lines on it. It's blue. Let's see. I mean, some people like blue. Blue just isn't my, blue's not my color. Oh, live plants. Hmm. And so, I mean, some people do like blue. It's very pretty. It looks, blue looks very good with yellows and that kind of thing. I just don't use a lot of blue in my house. But this has that very nice brush McCoy feel that I love. And it is in flawless condition. There's no chips. There is a little bit of, um, yeah, it is kind of an almost a periwinkle. There is like a little bit of drip in there, you know, in on the inside, just where the, from the glaze, like an imperfection in the glaze. And yeah, it's in, it's in excellent condition. It is USA. It says it is one, two, three slash minus. And I think I did look that up and it is McCoy. It would be pretty for a 4th of July display. Um, this I do have marked at $40 and it is letter 
Did I do it? Yeah. Letter M. Letter M. For McCoy. It is $40. It's, I mean, it's a vase. It is a little heavy. Um, but it will be wrapped up very, very well. Oh, L. L Brinkley. Good. This will be, it would be, could you imagine a bunch of flags and stuff in there? That would be, that would be cute. I didn't even think about that. Okay. Next we have a pillow made by my mother. This one also is a like a Memorial Day-esque. My sale on Instagram after this is, is going to be a, um, is going to be a kind of a Memorial Day-esque colors i mean some of them are some of them are not but this is you might if you're seeing you might need to refresh your speed or refresh your screen make sure that you're in live chat okay you okay okay i i can't this is a pillow made by my mother it is really pretty very cute for the um fourth of july or for memorial day that's coming up so she had taken this fabric and then put a vintage um, quilt piece on the on the front of it, and she uses the vintage buttons. And on the other side is like a red plaid or red gingham, so you could display either side. This is twelve dollars, and it is letter W, because that makes sense. Letter W is twelve dollars oh just dropped it on the floor that's l again l well good that will go nice i can use that to pad that vase a little bit better a couple more things write m on the vase please oh because you didn't do that <gasps> oh god thank you okay does anybody out there live in oklahoma Oklahoma. Does anybody live in Oklahoma? But I have because I have an Oklahoma metal plate. And it has mistletoe. I, I guess that's Oklahoma's state flower. Oh, look. Oklahoma, Oklahoma. Awesome. Oh yeah, Nicole, Nicole does collect state things. I forgot about that. Um, this has lots of towns in Oklahoma. Has the mistletoe. It does have a little bit of I don't know that. I think that's paint so that maybe could be removed. It's not, um, it's not a scratch. It's paint. Now the back of it does have some scratches and stuff on it, but the front graphic is very, very good on it. This is, there's no makers mark on it. It is $5 and it is, let's say it's letter O for Oklahoma. Letter O from Oklahoma. That's a good song. Old Muskoki from Muskoki. Andrea Joseph. Andrea Joseph. Okay, next I have a tablecloth. A tablecloth with some stains on it. Tablecloth, that, doesn't that sound appetizing? It is a square tablecloth um, and it has the embroidered on each corner uh, of the tablecloth. And the tablecloth itself is made out of a little bit of a heavier um, kind of fabric. And it does have some stains on it. It's been washed, but not treated. And I know that there are ways that you can get the stains out of linens. I just, I, I just don't do that. I leave them how I find them. This is $10. And it is letter... S. Yeah, I haven't called S yet. Letter S is ten dollars. Okay. Tablecloth. Oh, it was number. It was number eighteen. The first S I have reclaimed treasures. Reclaimed by treasures by Mary. Okay, I have a couple thermoses. The first one I'm going to show is I when I went on Instagram I was like does anybody want a brown thermos, but people do, and so I have this brown thermos, this vintage brown thermos. Someone had said that um, 
it would be great for a fall display, which I was like, yeah, could you imagine like a little pumpkin sitting on top of here? That would be so cute. And on the inside it does have the glass insert and it's still intact. It does have, you know, a little, um, some spots on it. And then and it does have the, the, the top and the metal top. And this is $10 and it is letter E, letter E. And if you're just tuning in, I had to go and change because people were getting the stuff, the numbers beforehand from my video. Connie Emmerich. Connie Emmerich. Oh, did you ever do this? No. Oh, you haven't done the tablecloth? No. Okay. Well, I'll leave them over there. All right. Okay. So also, yes, this is something that I'm going, that I've been just thinking about too well. I'm, I'm giving Emma a second to catch up. I'm going to start um, showing a little less <laughs> items because it's, it's, I do this all by myself. I get it all packed up by myself. And I do it as fast as I can so I can get them out to you guys. So I will, you probably will not hear back from me tonight, but do send me the email. I have a couple more things. I'm not ending it. I'm just giving her a minute to catch up. I have a couple more, um, or yes, yeah, send me an email tonight. Um, but I won't um, be replying probably. I might try to reply, but I usually like after these sales, I will take some pictures because so I got to get some stuff listed on eBay and I usually don't even look at my email for a while till the next morning. So know that I'm, I'm working on invoices and I try to get them out as fast as I can, but sometimes it does take me through Saturday to get everything done because I'm selling over 70 things and I'm doing it by myself. So just, just so you know that I'm, I'm getting them out, but it's just, um, it's, it's, I'm, I got to maybe do a little less and my husband keeps telling me I need to do like two and do like 30 and one and 30 the next, but I, I just kind of want to keep it on one day other than doing an evening, an evening sale once in a while. Yes, I did. I started with 50 and then I just keep pulling stuff. I'm like, well, I can show one more thing. I can show one more thing. And then my OCD is like, I have like five more lines on this piece of paper. I can f sell five more things. I got five more lines on my paper. So that's how. But most of the things I'm showing today are fairly small. This next thing is really cool. And I can show you the tag because this number doesn't matter anymore because I'm going to give it a letter. But this is Rangeland Love. Rangeland Love. This is really cute. It was 15 cents back in the day. It's Cowboy Serenade, Romance in Old Mexico. And I will, it has this protective sleeve in here. So it's an old magazine. Look at the graphics on here. Look at her face. Isn't she so pretty? Look at her eyelashes. I love her. Now the bottom of it has some issues down here. As you can see, it's kind of torn, but there's no date on the front. Let's see. Oh, I love looking through these just to look at the advertisement. The trained man always wins. Get your training work in profitable radio television. You can in the great cone school in only 10 weeks. You could you could learn to be a television man. Huh. Be a trained man. Okay, so this was 1933. I thought I was like, this has to be in the 30s. Table of contents. Every good boy deserves fun. You can learn to play the piano. Look at her. So this is just Rangeland Love Stories. So it's just kind of a magazine storybook with a Western theme. Um, oh, is that? Yeah, I was like, that's John Wayne. Gosh, John Wayne was such a handsome guy in his young, I mean, he in his younger days. But meet Kinks, the imp of Rangeland who decides that marrying folks off is just too much fun. She's an imp of Rangeland. So this is just a really, oh, look at that. Alluring beauty needs. All full size nationally advertised products for 98 cents. Wow, I love looking at the, I mean, this is sometimes, oh. 
I know, and was like, go, Misty. But look, is your chest line too full? You can reduce your bosoms by sending away for that. Anyway, this is really cool. It is $15, and it is letter I. Letter I. For the 1938 Rangeland love story. And I, I know that a lot of you do junk journals, but if you kind of, if you cut that apart, you might break my heart a little bit. So if you do that, don't tell me. Oh, Shirley Pearl. Shirley Pearl. All right, got another thermos here. This one is plastic. It's not metal. It's a plastic thermos. It is the Aladdin's Vanguard thermos bottle. It has this really fun graphic on it, but it is plastic and the, gl the glass insert is still intact, although it's a little um, cloudy. I mean, I don't know that I'd be going and using this, but it's great for display. It's nice and tall, so you can put it behind something to give it height. This is $10, and it is letter G. Letter G is $10 for the plastic thermos. I have superior girl vintage. Rachel, yay! This would go great with Christmas, and I like that it's tall, and you can use it to add height to a display. Okay, I have two more things left, and then we'll be going over to Instagram. So this thing is something else that I, I don't know if I showed this on Instagram or not, but it is a cross stitch piece with this wooden frame and it has a chicken on it. And um, it says, it's better to have a hen tomorrow than the egg today. So philosophical. Anyway, it's very like 1980s kitchen piece it does have it's not I don't I don't want to say that it's not homemade but it's been like professionally framed I know I thought I thought of Nicole too when I saw this too and so it's been it's got the hanger on it it's in great condition and it is six dollars and it is letter O you already did that oh you already did, we already did O it's a letter give me a letter Letter H. Sorry, if you said if you said O, oh, it's not O. Oh, it's letter H. I sue Terrellinger. <laughs> sue Terrellinger. I'm sorry, that was. Oh, here I'll give you this. That was my fault. But it's not normally like this. I'm I'm not going to I'm not going to be able to. Uh... Okay, thanks. Okay, I'll set it right here. I'm gonna have to be very careful with my preview videos and not show things. People get mad. Okay. This next, this is the last thing. I know. People like that one. See, I sometimes think people aren't going to like things. And they end up liking it. Oh, thank you, C.A. Susie, for the super chat. So this last thing is another art print. This one's a, like a boudoir piece. And it's Somebody Cares. So it kind of reminds me of Gone with the Wind. Kind of very Rhett butler esque with the dogwood flowers in the background this is copyright 19 was that 30 or 38 i think 1938 Ooh. and it's somebody cares by edgar edgar a guest somebody cares for you cares so much that heart grows glad at your slightest touch it's just mushy it's a mushy thing lovey thing it's in its original frame can see here it's it's very thin it this does have the glass on it but it it's not very heavy and um, you and your husband talk to each other like that oh mine and mine don't we do we am <laughs> we don't we we we've been together since we were 15 16 years old so we've got a lot of history but this is very pretty for a uh, you could give it to a as a gift I don't know but it is where'd you go it's ten dollars, and it is letter X. Letter X. Letter X. Oops, there. Letter X. 
is ten dollars. I for. have thrill of the thread. Oh D! Oh D! This would be good. Take for a wedding gift. Yeah. Very, very, very mid-century, very well, it's probably more well, it's from 1938. <laughs> so all right, so that is this sale. So make sure that you send me an email, thrifterjunkervintagehunter at gmail.com. Give this video a thumbs up and um, subscribe to my channel. I have these sales. Oh, I have these sales every Wednesday at 1 Eastern Standard Time. Um, and, I, and I will be going on Instagram next to have my sales. So if you're not on Instagram, think about joining it. Um, I will pop on Instagram and just kind of have a chit chat um, and kind of I walked around the shop and just kind of pulled things and was talking to people like, do you think people would like this? You think people would like that? So um, I it's just kind of fun. So if you're not following me on Instagram, do. And I know that Trusty Huckster Mercantile is having a sale Thursday, which is tomorrow. I think it's 7 Eastern. No, you're not Eastern. You're Central Time. Anyway, well, I tell you what. Go subscribe to Trusty Huckster Mercantile's YouTube channel. He is having a sale. Um, he is so much fun. So make sure that you subscribe to him. And Vinny is having a sale on Saturday night. So make sure that you subscribe to uh, Vintage Vinny. And a uh, Alex Chapter 2 Vintage Co. is having a sale Friday at 1 Eastern Standard Time. So check her channel out. Subscribe to her channel. And uh, Jeffrey, Real Nifty Vintage, is having a sale Friday. I can't remember the time. You have to subscribe to their channels. They have all the information on there. And then um, um, Stephanie from Thrifting Adventures is having a she's having a sale she normally has them on i believe on fridays i can't remember they're I, they all kind of blur together <laughs> but um she's also having a sale just here shortly after mine on her channel she's having a clothing sale oh yeah nicole north garden is having a sale at seven i don't know what she pacific well she, you it's all on her on her youtube yeah sunday i can't remember the time so there's a lot to do. So make sure that you, um, you know, that you check those out. That's the cool thing about these sales. And that's the cool thing about vintage and antiques in general is that it's not all cookie cutter. We all sell different things. I'm not going to have the same things that Jeffrey's going to have. I'm and Alex isn't going to have the same things that I have. So it, it's, we can all, you know, do this together. And, and so make sure that you check out their channels and check out their sales and subscribe and follow me on Instagram. And I'm getting ready to go over to Instagram now to sell about 17 other things. So I will see you all soon. Bye.